NorCal School of the Arts mission is to provide personalized, holistic, individualized, professional theater arts training programs for young people. We have teaching artists that are primarily musicians, singers, dancers, even theater. You can have your specialties within that. We have teaching artists that are experts in devised theater. We have teaching artists that are improv experts. We have teaching artists that love Shakespeare. We have our television and film program where students have the ability to talk to industry experts. And then at the end of the year, they were able to work on film reels and get on a set and that was super exciting. One of the highlights for NorCal School of the Arts this year was receiving a grant where we were able to serve 1,700 students in Sac City Unified School District. All of the teaching artists went through a training on social emotional learning. We were taught the signature practices of SEL, the signature practice number one, which is that greeting, that inclusion exercise, so that the students just feel like, I'm here, I'm acknowledged, I'm ready to work. And what we would often do is use, like I'll give an example, an animal slide. And there's like nine different pictures of a squirrel. And then the students would be asked, pick the squirrel that best represents how you're feeling in this moment. And now we're gonna swim forward like we do, pretending it's a hot day. And then we would do a lot of improv games. They would have to work off of each other and connect with each other. Miss Michelle, she's like Alexa. And she's very smart. She can do these crazy mouth things. And she goes ba 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 She always thinks of new fun ideas and she's very fun. And I like her a lot and we always play a fun game. It's been an interesting experience to go from the Zoom environment very carefully and thoughtfully back to in-person rehearsals and in-person classes. The students were able to put on Schoolhouse Rock Junior and to just try to get back to some semblance of a theater experience with an audience. Yeah, Schoolhouse Rock is a great show, so that lots of solos, you just get lots of opportunities for students to have their moment. When you're an actor in a show, you look forward to those, those couple moments that you might have. I find that students pick it up easy because a lot of students are kinesthetic learners that as soon as they add movement to the text, then it helps them remember things. We also had sign language in our production. We had Angeline Fowler from Show of Hands came and demonstrated and, and we recorded her and the students practiced with it. And I had to learn it too. It was so hard because we only had Angeline for two days. And so I had to like know it so that I could rehearse it with them after that. You know, theater teaches resilience and that's what I love so much about watching students perform. They might forget their line, they might get stage fright, uh, but they just keep going. And it's fun to see the students think on their feet and to gain confidence. The other thing is it is it was a K through eight experience. So the older students were able to mentor the younger students and we often do that. It's, it's often a time for a school when we're in an after school program where the whole school is participating. So all of a sudden the first grader knows the sixth graders walking by. And so they, they just, it, it just um, helps them feel more connected to the whole school. Parents get involved, they help build sets. They help with backstage monitoring and um, that it becomes a full-on community experience.